know you have high hopes for HBO Max. We all know HBO, obviously. It's, it's synonymous with some of the greatest things ever uh, on video, obviously. Uh, Game of Thrones, Sopranos, etc. You want to take on Netflix, and I understand that. And I think that's interesting because I, 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 I don't know whether it's true or not, but supposedly someone said maybe we should have some kind of alliance with Netflix. Someone um, suggested that to you, and you said... We want to crush Netflix. So they're not even going to be frenemies. John, you want to replace Netflix or at least be a very potent competitor. I, I think what you're referring to is maybe some uh, what I would call uh, not accurate reporting in The New York Times. Um, our belief is that there's going to be multiple streaming services moving forward. And I've been pretty consistent. And I think if you look back over the last year in the public domain around my conversation that our goal, frankly, is not to be Netflix. Our goal is to be something different. And there are other streaming services that are starting to show up in the market that clearly hit different needs for the customer. HBO Max is going to have a unique focus and a unique position with the customer, and we're going to play our game. Our goal isn't to crush Netflix. Our goal is to make sure that we meet customer needs, that we engage them every day that the household finds something worthwhile to spend time with us. And that's what we're going to stay focused on. I guess it, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't uh, so that was in the New York Times, but that was, that was not accurate, um, according to you. So that, that's not a quote from you. That, that's interesting. Uh, anyway, but I, I guess the reason I led with that, John, is that um, I think about Netflix and everything that's there, and from documentaries to movies to, to uh, programming that, that they generate themselves, that is a big universe of things that they have. How will HBO Max, and, and I guess you just said you're not going to strive to be everything to all people, but um, you probably do add, need to add some things to the offering to make it so attractive that people have it in addition to the other streaming services. Absolutely. Uh, clearly, a customer in this dynamic of what's occurring is we're moving from kind of traditional media through the pay TV bundle and uh, general entertainment content coming into the streaming realm has an incredible number of choices of what to do with their time. And then you go into all the dynamics in the digital environment about fragmented capabilities to go and look at user generated content, and things like that. So there's no question. There's more choice out there today than there ever has been. And that paradox of choice is what HBO Max needs to resolve. It needs to become the brand when a customer says, you know, I'm looking for something that meets this particular need of where I stand right now in my mood or my family situation. And that it's the first thing you think about that I can go and know I'm going to find something that's curated down to a meaningful selection of high quality, something that I, is going to hit the mark for me. And the consistency of that happening time and time again is clearly the, the hallmark we want for the brand and for the service. And that's what we believe we will focus on and we'll carry forward. And we've got such a talented team at Warner Media to be able to do that, be able to curate in that kind of fashion not just going to be doing it for with the demo that was served by HBO. Now we want to expand that out to the entire family.